So I guess we're live. Giving this another shot here. Hopefully the horrible echo that plagued the first one has been remedied. Trying to figure out what it takes to get this to show up on my Amazon Fire Stick. As far as the actual live stream goes, so I can test a lot of stuff out here. See what's going to make sense and what doesn't from a streaming standpoint. Let's exit all the way out to there we go. All right. So this is uh, WWE SmackDown. Here comes the pain. I hope this looks right. Trial and error going on here. Give this another look before I do my intro preamble. Chat hit militarily. Oh, that looks a lot better than I thought it would. Bought a PS2 to HDMI converter, and it was my own fault for not reading carefully. And it, instead of having a component output, it was the composite field. Red, white, yellow combo. The Nintendo Entertainment System, among others. And the only thing I don't like is that it gives me the video stretch. I despise stretched video. If it was 4x3 to begin with, stick with it. And don't, and please don't put a mirror on the side. If you've never had motion sickness, you don't understand how troubling that can be. When I was uh, working my second run in the TV news business, we would have, for video that was like that, or we had non-traditional fitting video, we had what were called wings, which we put on either side part of the video editing process. Anyway, so it appears that doing it this way is going to work. The one caveat is that I'm going to actually be playing this while looking at the preview screen, which is a little bit different than you would normally do. But in this case, it's kind of circumstances force that. Because when I pull it up to the uh, other HDMI output, it's that stretch to 16.9 look, and I can't force to go back to 4 by 3 on this television. Or if it's possible, I can't figure it out. Right now. I'm going to check one other thing here, so please bear with me. Okay, it sounds like the echo problem that was there before. I thought it was picking up my microphone and feeding back through, but... In hindsight, that doesn't make sense because it wasn't nearly loud enough. And then on top of that, hang on. You guys had that Brock Lesnar photo there in the bottom right with the here comes the paint. That worked out pretty well. From a spacing standpoint, I think there's there'd be some learning from this. But I'll tell you, because I've got this streaming to my my Fire Stick on my uh, larger television. It actually, looks pretty good, all things considered. All right, enough yakking. Let's get to it. I've played many, many seasons on here. And we'll get to that. Once I get this going, I don't have time to really put into that right now. I spent enough time getting this set up, but I do want to get this going. So I may have this and then another test or two with just a match or two and can do more later. Perhaps. <laughs> I was trying this earlier. The delay for the PlayStation 4 was enough where it was going to work for me at all. Playing uh, Super Mega Baseball 3. But there's no need to do it that way. I'm just doing testing stuff out. But this has to work. I can fix the overlay. It's not quite 100% 
optimized the way I'd want it to be as far as those quarters go. But all things considered, this is going to be all right. There, there's a big black area to that top right. I've got my uh, Twitter handle there. Uh, Nashville Lou is what I'm going to be going with. NashvilleLou.com. I think I'm going to push that going forward because I've got a variety of different YouTube pages, Twitter links that are related to video games, Fire Pro Wrestling World stuff that's not necessarily going to be of interest to just regular video game people. But people that do like it really, really like it, like me. Now, I've got a lot of wrestlers that were downloaded, and I don't even remember now how I did it. I'm sure I had some sort of a device. Because it was a... I mean, I, I very much appreciate how easy it is to download. Just, I mean, I know it seems like the hassle at times with the UI that always need to best these wrestling games. But compared with having to, like, buy a special device online and download files from the internet and try and make stuff make sense... And, it's worth the effort. But I don't have a, uh, a Bret Hart on here, and I'm not sure why I never did that. Boy, awesome. Go something a little bit easier. So I'm not gonna play as Benoit. I'll say that right now. And it was kind of crazy looking for the saved files on here. I mean, that's, I played this game while he was still alive, but once you uh, murder a child, that makes it. I have I want nothing to do with you. Off there. I'd forgotten. Luckily, because I've played this through so many times, I've got everything unlocked. But the game had kind of got bogged down for me as far as I played so many seasons that there were a few wrestlers that were really high up, but like nobody else seemed like could get above anywhere really close to where they needed to to be like worthy of a title shot. They got. So I just doing a trial run. I tried carrying over the old stats to the next year playing as Lance Storm, and it did not go well for me. And then I played as just the same wrestlers and all involved, just without the season information carried over as far as development or regression. And it was a lot easier. I played this on normal difficulty. I'm not... I feel weird with Snooka. I'm not going to go out of my way to play him. And one of the great things with this game is that it caught the last generation of stars that were actually allowed to be stars, last who were made guys. You got young Cena, you got young Randy Orton. After that, this game has Goldberg in it. I mean, it's, it's some unusual things. I mean, now it's not as unique, but at the time it was nice. And it's supposed to have both Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior in it, but something went askew with that. But they're in there as downloadable people. Like, they don't have, like, it's not perfect. Like, Ric Flair, it's not the Ric Flair music, is that weird, whatever faction they were doing at the time, but well, it's a minor quibble I'm for the fun factor here, not the historical accuracy or lack thereof. Alright, Rodney Mack. count New Japan Pro Wrestling style Let 
that's the time. You have a title to draw for those 30, but... That knockout's turned off. So there we go. I tell you, this is looking a lot better than I had envisioned it would. Just seeing how it looks streaming on other televisions. Saw Austin wrestle in person multiple times. The incredible Memorial Day 1997 tag title win with him and Shawn Michaels against Owen Hart and Baby Boy Smith, Evansville, Indiana. Saw at WrestleMania 15 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1999. I think this game, it plays faster certainly than like a real life wrestling match. But yeah, it never feels buffoonish or arcade -ish in an off-putting way. Like that uh, WrestleMania game in the arcade, the one that followed the all-time great WrestleFest. Austin, the full... <laughs> the full intro there. Like, they could be making up this song, and I would just know it. That's one thing about this time, as far as watching wrestling. I was down in Tampa at that point. It's funny because I'm meeting a lot of wrestlers in real life. There's a lot of them live down there, and people I've worked with and were friends with. Never met Rodney Mack, though. So, But uh, point being, despite that, I'm just looking at the overlap between the way I've got this set up and I've got to stretch out a little bit more of that right side to cover up the gap between. Oh, I should have picked two guys with black trunks. And, like, there are little things in this game I like so much that you just like, I rough up the ref a bit. If timing's okay, then you can be affected at reversals. Will punish you. That's where I'm hoping this slight kind of oh, has a clock on the screen. You know what? In all my years of playing this game, I don't ever did that. Discover new stuff in this game 17 years on now. Well, I got Roddy Mack to beat me up. And this is on like normal mode, it's not like it's just, you know, sort of Hall of Fame mode or something. This game is similar to how it is in pro wrestling, where you know, one wrestler will get the advantage for a bit, the other will want to come back. I wonder if they actually made this like a uh, Iron Man match. I hope not. I mean, I can handle it. I'll end it. If I have to. It's a learning curve. I didn't expect it to look anywhere. Nice as it does, all things considered. Especially with the way it's stretched coming from the talking. Oh, there we go. It's a stunner. Maybe in the ropes. Yeah. We're mid 40. <laughs> Send it to the outside. <laughs> Austin's not going to watch the plancha. This was right about the time when WWE started realizing that older wrestlers being in video games is actually a good thing, especially when there was like that uh, Legends of Wrestling game. That uh, It's an incredible lineup, all things considered. And the gameplay did not match. It was too bad because it could have been great. Austin Bethesda Press. Uh, ref is obstructing my view. Very satisfied by the finisher like that in this game. Ha 
<laughs> oh, run in! John Michael's doing a run in! This is out of control. I'm trying to hit Michaels with it. I was not expecting a run in. <laughs> Okay, this is like a time. That's wow. How is it all these years I played this game and I never realized you could have a clock on the screen? Why do we. Why do we. Why do we. Michael's hand there. Austin's the winner. Michael's did the run into. To do a mid match pose. There's a sports entertainment finish. This game is so much fun. The replayability factor is very high. In fact, I mean, I really, if it weren't for this game, I don't know if I'd still own a PlayStation 2. But I always want to be able to play it if I wanted to from time to time. I can like alt the computer actually do. It's fun to be the non-legal man and jump off the apron and go and cause some problems for the opponent that's not the legal man on the other side. Pull him off the apron. That kind of chicanery. Right, what do we got here? And that's like the real like this isn't like a creator rest for Scott Steiner. It's, it's, this game had a very unique lineup in a good way. A few randoms like Rico the hairdresser. You see where it's just like season. And I mentioned before where I played this game many, many times through the years, many seasons. And eventually, I think it just skewed things too much as far as where some of the wrestlers I'd used for multiple seasons were just so good they dominated everybody else. Gotta play as Big Papa Pump. You know, little things in this game that you don't really find anywhere else. They'd be able to have extra... Finisher, signature maneuver, icons there. This game is very good at allowing you to be able to access those moves reasonably, but not spamming them or doing to the point of annoyance. Let's see, my computer control tag seem part. I love like Ultimo Dragons in there. I love that. Downloads, as you can tell, though. Unlike how it is in games now, they didn't really try to render up. Although, I tell you, with the WWE 2K19, I might do some streaming of that because I broke down and bought that when I saw some of those people online talking about the ECW uh, creations they made. They did a really good job with it, but it was frustrating because I got the game, I, I found it finally for a good bargain on eBay. But then, like, to play a lot of these downloads, I needed to, like, buy these DLC packs, which are still full price. 2Ks. Nickel and diamond. No, in, no depth. So I've got an eclectic mix. At least with Hogan and Warrior, there's everything else was in the game because they were supposed to be in the game, so... You don't get their photo or whatever, but that's fine. 
I've got Super Delphin, but not Bret Hart. I can't explain that. I forget what Macho Man looks like in this game with this creator wrestler. Guess we'll find out. I can use Benoit. Kung Fu suit or leather jacket? I actually got sneak attack playing the game when I was just testing it out before I got the adapter. I got sneak attack by Bischoff in his Kung Fu suit. I want the leather jacket variety. This is an era when they weren't nearly as worried about the man on woman violence. I always found that rather off putting. Even though I can watch a movie like True Romance, one of my favorite films of all time, and the scene with James Gandolfini's character fighting against Alabama in the hotel room, it's a very violent scene. But because I know it's a movie, it doesn't break my suspension of disbelief, but it's not that off-putting, like, oh. Because if I'm seeing that happen, I'm supposed to suspend my disbelief in pro wrestling. And it's like, why is anybody doing anything about this? You know, that's the difference between, you know, the whole stupid making movies thing. And take a look at those Raw ratings. Compare persons 18 to 34 from this past Monday with five years ago. A cataclysmic drop. And yet the same person still remains in charge of creative. But the caveat to the whole man on woman violence thing is that in a video game, it's like I'm playing Street Fighter 2 and, you know, I've got Ryu's going for an uppercut on Chun-Li. It's not like it's, you know, or Zangief hits it with a spinning pile driver or whatever. It's not because I know it's a video game. You know, it's... And to that same effect, I know it's a video game here with wrestling, and if I saw it on TV or saw it in person at a show, it would be off-putting because it always has been the times up. And they don't do that as much anymore. Uh, intergender was a big thing with Lucha Underground. Just that was a big mistake. Turned off a lot more people than they did turned on. In my opinion. I got a Ricky Steamboat. I think I got a Steamboat right here. You've got a few of the older wrestlers in this game, but not like you have now. Although now, since they don't really make new stars anymore, it's a little different. As far as you know, people wrestlers you actually want to play as that haven't been just and it's not I don't blame the workers it's not their fault it's the guy in charge it's weird because I've got a Lawler in there and there's also a storyline or story mode element where Lawler ends up tagging with you don't spoil it or whatever well, a storyline for a video game that came out in 2003. But it was just when I was playing through, it was like Lawler against Lawler because I had this download against the, the one-off Lawler that comes into play just that one time for the, for the brief storyline. There's still no. They weren't much in this era for letting you design your own arenas. Well, at least in this era, the arenas a lot of times actually had different looks. Let's see what 
WrestleMania 19 looks like in Seattle. <laughs> Where's Steamboat? Oh, there he is. Match length that changes everything as far as I can't believe that all those years I played this game and never realized that and just stumbled upon it now. A better life than never, I'll take it. Not a complaint. People like Sean O'Hare, Chuck Paloma, that kind of awkward period after. WCW died. And ECW died. And we had a start of the Monopoly era. And looking at this, the way the... I've got it close to how I want it with this layout as far as the picture. I mean, it's a 4x3, but I'm... So, I don't understand the appeal of the desire to stretch video. Because they're watching Seinfeld on TBS and they got that stretched out. I can't watch it. I love Seinfeld. One of the all time great shows. I don't like sitcoms. And I love Seinfeld. But I don't love Seinfeld where it's stretched out. And it just that annoys me to no end. So, anyway. But here I try to take a negative and turn it to a positive. It's able to resize it to the four three dimensions. And not like a close estimate, like you know, spot on with it. But look at it, like that scene right here. I'll be able to look at this video later and figure some stuff out. Just, uh, no music for the macho man. Well, maybe I should avoid music from the whole nonsense with uh, the algorithms those that's like with i've got a lot of lot of uh fire pro videos that i've sent over the last three or so years and it's probably a good thing that adding intros and intro music is such a time intensive thing kind of a hassle because that would just be such a big risk for a you know a, especially a dodgy copyright claim <laughs> but I think there's a way that I'll be able to have the screen chat. I'm not just testing stuff and actually have more people on the chat. Make that section there to the right. And I at one point had the NashvilleLou.com domain that I just purchased up there in that right corner, but it didn't quite look like the way I was testing it out. <laughs> it's like the generic music or the cover music they give him over his uh, real theme song from WrestleMania 3. in this era there were websites like gamefaqs.com you go and look up how to and at least with this it wasn't like the so frustrating the uh, it was a claim that made the games or whatever it was the after or right before I guess they got the uh, the AKI engine where it was like WWF attitude Let me pause it real quick and uh it was, you almost had to like memorize combos to pull off moves. It's, it seemed very, I don't know, didn't make a lot of sense to me. Point being is that I certainly appreciate it now having this sort of thing available 
the fact that I could like say, have a song pop in my head, I want to hear that song right now, odds are I can get on YouTube and find it within 90 seconds. That was not always the case. You hear a song you love on the radio, and if the DJ doesn't backsell it later, or you miss the intro, you have to leave your car to go to wherever you're going. You have to hope you hear it later. Enough of that. I'm still just floored with an on-screen walk that it was there all those years. Steamboats had seen enough. Now I'm have some fun because I'm not the legal man, so I can go bother, bother, bother treatment to Steamboat. This game is very good. I think it's even better than No Mercy as far as like detecting who the opponent you're wanting to attack is very much better than the modern titles that is as well, at least in my estimation. Kind of like the license WWE the games. Not, I love Fire Pro. No knock on those guys. There's some oh, oh, oops. I myself dis disqualified. No DQs. Playing as uh, Scott Steiner teaming up with Randy Savage against Eric Bischoff and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Hang out there with Randy Savage with the military press into a power slam. Macho Man working like it's 1988. Wanting to stop Steve, but the ref is gonna get after me for it. Slow elbow drop and push-ups. Little things like that that make this game just like tremendous but uh header. Go to the side. Get the heat on Savage. Look at the apron. We're gonna get back on the apron. I'll just pose on the floor instead. Big shots in the red over there anyway. Top. Whoa. Oh no! I forgot the collision detection in this game is strong enough where that's uh ah the ref can't call what he can't see. Oh, 
I'll put Bishop to Steiner recliner out here. There's a kind of submission if the non legal man taps out. My guard down too much with Steamboat in it. Savage. There you go, come to the top. Straight for the Macho Man. Against military press into a power side. No wonder his midsection's hurt. Come on, Mach, make the tag. Top rope. Headbutt. Dynamite kid. The blocks handle. No, it's drop kick that misses. Just hanging out there on the paper. Good poor finish off. Got only. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's little things like that with this game that make it so much fun. It's the most absurdity of it. No. Oh. It's a save there. They don't hit the ref. No schmoz finish. Cradle. Ah, come on. There's no type of posing. Come on. What's going on over there with Savage and Steamboat? Who <laughs> shot tags back in? It's actually beneficial. Visual pinfall on Randy Savage. Edwards is getting control in there. Man, not just cause. Oh. You want some bitch off? Hit the stomach of the ref. Hebner striking back. <laughs> the little things in this game. There we go. Victory. This will be a lot of fun if I can get this to work the way I want it to. This is pretty close to it right now. There is some load time, but that's this is a real PlayStation 2. But I've been trying to learn about OBS Studio from a sports broadcasting standpoint. If somebody can send me a high definition signal, I'm fortunate to have very fast internet. I mean, I pay a premium, but I'm fortunate to live in a place where I have that as an option, because I've been in places where that was not an option before. Never take it for granted. Let's try at least one more. With a six-man tag.
I have two computer partners. I'll find somebody. I'll be, maybe I'll be Brock Lesnar. Who's a rock? But Lesnar. T-shirt Lesnar. If this was New Japan, it'd be like a minus five of the overall. Like you're getting Tetsuya Naito in a tag match where he's wearing a t-shirt. It's kind of like in Mike Tyson's punch out where you face Bald Bull early in the game. It's the weaker version. Like a t-shirt version of Naito and then the full suit singles match. A different animal altogether as it were. Who oh, wants to know? Michaels did that run in that match before. Pop for that, I was not expecting that. So a Piper. Ultimo Drake. Like, I wish they would have had a color palette swap for Ultimo Dragon for a couple of different outfits. But that's, uh, if that's the worst thing I've got to worry about, I'll be all right. That is the Noir. I'll have Piper in blue, so I'll have Jericho in the green. With young Grandy Orton. Rookie cards. Orton and Cena. Thugonomics. Like I was saying, the 4x3 dimensions of PlayStation 2 games. It's a negative, you can turn to a positive because you can show the entire screen and have your stuff on the side without blocking anything. And it's set up to be configured for modern monitors that are set up for the 16 by 9 dimensions where it looks good. You don't have to stretch anything out to make it look terrible, which happens all too often. So let's go SummerSlam. These are all like in the game wrestlers. These weren't creator wrestlers. That's Batista. Big belt. I need to figure out a way where I can mute my microphone. I can call for making the click noise, turn it on and off. That the undisputed belt they had there. It's always been a trick trying to get the belt to look like they're not just hovering on the wrestler. But in many ways, this game does it better than the ones coming out 17, 18 years later. And even at this point, they were kind of like lukewarm about using guys that weren't around anymore. I mean, Piper, of course, had gone to WCW, but time has a way of healing wounds and money doesn't hurt either. 
like the no music jobber entrance almost. Or you get the uh, offensive. I saw Ultimo Dragon against Dean Malenko at Starcade 96 here in Nashville. Tremendous. Same show that had Rey Mysterio Jr. against Juice and Thunder Liger. It will end up being their only singles match. And ironically, I was supposed to see the second match between Mysterio and Liger at the Cow Palace before an injury to Liger, or to Mysterio, I should say, changed that. Try to watch modern WWE, I just can't do it. The camera shaking alone and the camera cuts, it's like, they're actually trying to drive me away. And yeah, I don't blame the performers. They're one of very, very smart people, very talented people in that company. And the boss tells you to do things a certain way. There are plenty of times in newscasts I didn't want to do things that I was mandated to do, but I'm going to execute the format. Kind of weird looking font there. The R almost looks like an A, so it's kind of tough to differentiate. I can only imagine how ghastly that would look with the uh, stretch to 169. <laughs> so, you think you're untouchable? So, you think you're untouchable? I love the uh, New Jersey Nets knockoff that's close enough to being not them to be in. <laughs> I might stream at some point the uh, game that came up before this one. Here comes the pain, as you can tell. It's freaking great. But I thought that the Royal Rumble mode in Shut Your Mouth, when it came before this, was superior. So I may give that a spin or two here before at the end of 2020. Let's be playing as Lesnar. Hey, my own guys, final damage. Spine Buster with authority. Ultimo Drag get in there. <laughs> it shouldn't be funny like that. It shouldn't be as amusing to me. It's just... I... Part of the idea of the game is having fun. This game is uh, a fun factor. About as high as you're going to get out of a WWE game. I've noticed that is rough abort there. Is that like a lot of the best video games are the ones that don't have any sort of commentary at all? There's some games that have done commentary well, but it's so tough. And that's one nice thing with the modern video games. You can turn off the commentary so you're not stuck here in the same off putting Jerry Law comedy. And now I can Jericho's problems there. Or you too, buddy. Very wide shot there, I know, but. Don't 
turn your back on Brock Lesnar. I she's been fighting with you. And he's not finished. Oh, look at that. Got the knife edge. Ultimo Dragon. You gotta hold up your bit to the bargain there. The FU. That's what it's called. Sold that landing a bit. Damn what you're wrestling there, get to see it. What going on here? Steiner off the top rope in the corner there. Oh, Strips Buffalo. Oh. I guess we'll go back to the corner. Thing, like the Lesnar doing that jump up there. Feels very authentic. Oh, yeah, don't. The ref, dude. Come on, Lesnar. Ow. Oh, no! I'm gonna get disqualified for that. What are you to do? That's high for Jericho's fair game. Direct towards Orton and Floor on Jericho. And a second.
bolt to the ring. It is a lot of fun to play as Lesnar in this game. Let's say. Good, we won. There was a match going on in the ring, and we were just brawling on the outside while Ultimo Dragon pins John Cena. I can't wait for an hour. I'm going to wrap it up here. It's been a lot of fun, though. I got to tell you. I'll get it where it looks a little better from the aesthetic standpoint. I'm so glad that second PS2 to HDMI uh, output thing worked. Stretching aside, which I can fix that for this and can't tell the difference. Just real quick, I will show you. I'd start a new season. And when I was testing it before, and I mentioned this earlier, but the first time I just tried carrying over this stuff that years and years, both real life years and in game years, were just a lot of guys were ranked so low that they would have a next to impossible time to climb in the ranks without me helping them do it. Point being, it's a lot easier when you go through and just go with the. Uh, know on the carrying over existing data even though you might think you'd want to for like the history of titles or whatever but that's that's like this game really dwelled on too much uh, okay let's show you this real quick here this is how you open up because the idea is that you got like, it's coming now, things don't really change there. If Raw and SmackDown, and again, when you've got two ch top champions in real life, you really have zero, at least in my opinion. But for the purposes of this, you've kind of got your set of champs for Raw and your set of champs for SmackDown. You have the custom ability to do what you want with it. That's what I call take out Benoit. You only have one Undertaker in there, so I want, I don't want this, I want, give me 1991 Undertaker. Oh, you snook off. I'm not saving this right now anyway, I'm showing you. A very interesting mix of wrestlers in there. Maybe I'll do next time. I'm short spaced on time, just played another few matches like this. I'll go through and actually start a season mode. arcade game. There's your split. If you want to move wrestlers from one brand to the other, you can do so relatively you know, easily. Chock full of star power. Anyway, so that's it for the feed as we pass the one hour mark. Thanks for watching. Keep trying this out a little bit of trial and error and have this looking perhaps like a proper feed here sooner as opposed to later. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.